here they were leading in pitching at the college world series they're leading in home runs and slugging and they have had to patch together pitching for two days that one is ripped past Peisel for a base hit Gavin Hedstrom with a one ounce single begged Mike Batesel to let him try and he got him through an elimination game strike three called on the inside corner nice pitch from Justin Wilson how about the defense for this ball club well, Steve Detweiler out there in right field. We have to highlight the effort that this young man has made. He has a torn cartilage in his thumb on his glove hand. And watch where his glove goes on this catch. Right into the wall. Mike Batesel says, watch three innings, and this guy will run into something and get dirty within three innings of every game. North Carolina could have put him out of the tournament. They beat them, and they have beaten Georgia here in the best two out of three finals. Now both teams facing the ultimate elimination game. Susdorf, who was at the plate when Hedstrom was thrown out trying to steal second base, turns on it, lines it off the glove of Amadi down at first. Got a lot of glove on that, but that ball was smoked. And Amadi upset that he didn't come down with it. Excuse me, Poitras. A line drive again. This one deflecting off. We had a couple last night with the infield in where we had some deflections just like this. Get up. The big fella didn't get up quite fast enough. Checking throw to first. For the most part, the pitching staffs on these uh, teams have done the same thing. They've paid attention to the runners, but they haven't been overly concerned and turned the game into 17 throws to first every uh, at bat. Runner goes again. Ball hit to deep right. Olsen going back to the wall. Leaps. And it's gone. Detweiler comes through again. Who needs a thumb on one hand to hit? Olsen had a shot and barely missed it. He just stays on top of it enough. A high fastball 3-2 count. He's been in swing mode. He gets one close. He lets it fly. Oh, and oh, Matt Olsen just misses it. It hits the yellow line on top of the fence and just clears. A two-run shot puts Fresno State on top. 438. Got him on a breaking ball. Lewis the first out of the inning with two aboard. And now the lefty Lyle Allen. Fastball in, but then you look at the breaking ball coming through the shadows. Tough to pick up and nice bite on that curveball. Quality pitches. Seven. Strikes out Lewis and he's ahead of Allen. Seven for eight on first pitch strike, so he is locked in. Got him to chase. Yeah. Pizel and Beckham. The leaders of this ball club. Encouraging Massoneri. They need a big hit to get back in this game. Down 2 nothing. Struck him out. Late arriving crowd because it's a local 6 o'clock start. There were not all that many people in the stands when we began. But they continue to come in here people going home and changing clothes after work stands continue to fill up and Sesdorf draws the base on balls both pitchers Moreau has fanned three through three and two thirds and now Detweiler runner goes as the ball got away thrown into center field Susdorf on the way to third, and he's in there safely. Okay, take time. That time, Lewis, I think, made a mistake on the throw. 
It was a little bit of a secondary lead when he saw the ball get away from Joey Lewis. He decided to continue on to second, and the throw in the center field he allows him to go to third. But he wasn't attempting to steal, but a good, large secondary lead. Then when the ball got away, he had a nice shot at second. It might be 1-0 and right here. Steady puts one right down the middle, and he jacks it. Detweiler to the wall. I like my strategy better. I'd have rolled four up there. Threw him a fastball right down the heart of the plate. Detweiler turned on it and cranked it all the way to the wall. Susdorf able to score easily. Detweiler has driven in all three runs in this game. A fastball down the middle, 1-0. and oh. and He just drives this to the gap. His first hit, the home run to the opposite field. This one, he goes to the left center gap, and is he charged up in this final game of the College World Series, looking to touch the trophy. Start, and they can relieve and be a specialist. Fastball on the corner. Wilson showed you everything he's got on that. Cerrone not happy with the call. Wolfing about it on the way back to the dugout, continuing to stare back in at the plate, but he's gone. Fastball low and away. You be the umpire. It looks like it was a very nice pitch right on the black. Justin Wilson has earned that strike, even if it was borderline. He has been locked and loaded all night long. They all. The hand kind of guides them. You give yourself some room to leap. One ball and two strikes. Lefty against lefty. The infield is back, and he struck him out. Allen with a defensive swing, and the left-handers have really had a tough time against Justin Wilson. Well, fifth strikeout tonight, and here in a very key situation, not allowing Georgia to get that run with trading and out. Going top of the order in Pizel would be next. Strike called. Took. Called strike three. And Wilson struck out the side. With that fastball in the strike zone. Most of the breaking balls to left-handers have been chase breaking balls. A ball and two strikes. Struck him out with a fastball. That's number eight. Instead of the chase breaking ball, it's a fastball right down the middle, but you've got to try and read it, and the shadows have returned. His strike to ball ratio has been outstanding tonight. Three balls, two strikes to Susdorf. In the air to left. Allen back, all the way back to the wall, and it's off the wall. Susdorf into second. Allen didn't react like he saw that ball very well. There's got to be a little bit of breeze up above the stadium. That ball was hit very, very high. Didn't seem like it was hit well. But the ball is traveling to the opposite field here tonight. We had a home run to the opposite field by Detweiler. And now this oppo ball. He didn't see it. He didn't see it right very by well. It. He really didn't get a good read on it. And they chose to pitch to him and he hurt him. Well, these two hits were off left handers. That one's high for a ball. Amati with a base on balls, runners at first and second. And here is Detweiler, the first time up. Two run homer that barely got out of here to right field. And then in a situation with a base open, he crushed it to left center. A stand-up double. So Detweiler is two for two. One. Two men out, two men on. In the Fresno State sixth inning. Hit to deep left. That thing is out of here. A three-run shot for Detweiler. He does it again. Imagine what he could do with two thumbs. 
High fastball again. This one he takes the left. It was a high fastball. He took the opposite way in his first at bat. He took another fastball. He hit in the gap for a double. And look at the bench react to his third hit. He's driven in all six RBI. And he is teaching hardball here at Fresno State. That thing is smoked to dead center field. Muno with a base hit. And they have shown they really know how to stroke it. To face conversations with his pitchers because they all are begging for the ball. That one hit him. And he talks, he talks to his pitchers, and he says, you know, you 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 got to be honest with me. You know, you got to tell me how it feels. Don't give me the uh, you know the rah rah stuff about I can gut it out. And Kyle, that's uh, that's what you have to do. You have to count on your kids to tell you the truth. Yeah, you absolutely do. And he came in after that th that last, and he looked at Justin Wilson and said, uh, thinking about taking you out. He looked him dead in the eye and said, No, you're not. He said, I'm not coming out of the game right now. When he walked down and asked Clayton Allison, Allison said, I feel fine. So they need to go to him. They think they can. But at this point, it's Wilson's ball game. Thrown 115 pitches tonight. He has gone 135 in his career, 123 this season so he is no stranger to that we met with Mike Basil before the game he looked at us and said I don't know if I can keep playing I don't know what's hurting him he's not swinging the bat very well well he's swinging it all right now he's got a base hit to right another one Detweiler just continues to start the ball. Thumbs, who needs stinking thumbs? Well, another high pitch. He's proved he can hit the high one. It's a high breaking ball. He stays on and hits the opposite field. A nice play out in right field after this line drive falls in by Matt Olson. He does a good job short hopping that ball and not allowing that seventh Fresno State Bulldog run in. Good point. Two and two, two out in the eighth. Strike three, call. Mike Batesel is getting a freshman in at bat. He has not appeared in the College World Series. I like this. Maybe he should have. Rips a single to center, so Nick Hom gets a base hit to start the ninth. This crew will follow me there. Runner goes. Grove will short hop into second base and he's safe. It's Beckham unable to hold the ball on the low throw. Outside. Fuller is the pinch runner for Robbie O'Brien. Hit towards short. There's one. Wetzel on the first double play. And the freshman, Danny Muno, who has struggled the entire game with three errors, wasn't going to struggle with that when he got a double play out of it. And boy, you better believe he feels better. He gets to go to his left. He can field it on the forehand side tonight. Three errors, but now he starts a key, key double play. To take the air out of the sails of the Georgia Bulldogs. Well, that did almost all of it. The tying run would be, be Rich Poitras, but you still have to get two batters up to get there. Here is Olson. He has been dominated by lefties for most of the night. Now facing a right-hander in this situation. Line to right. Detweiler's got it. Cinderella wins the national championship.